So uh, this has been kind of welling up within me here since I stepped foot back into America early Sunday morning. Um, so they've been bothering me a lot. Just kind of, I've been praying about it and contemplating it and I'm ready to talk on it now. Um, I wrote a lot of this out just because it's kind of emotional for me. So I'm going to kind of read some of this, but um, I just brought 18 students the college age kids and adults from Trinity Church to people in Chichi Castanego, Guatemala. And the trip went beautifully. Um, so much compassion, love, and mercy, humble servant attitudes from everybody. And it truly really felt like Jesus was right in our midst. Uh, I watched our team pray for healing for people and um, for a deaf and a mute 17-year-old girl with her family all around praying for her, uh, washing widows' feet, giving widows food, um, taking care of kids, playing, considering others more important than themselves over and over. They didn't grumble or judge um, how some of those widows had ended up widows or their life decisions, how they ended up there. They didn't question the morality uh of the, pa of the past of those young single moms that we saw. They didn't withhold love from those who had made poor life choices, mistakes, or sins. You know, they saw people in need and they loved them and pointed them to Jesus with their actions and their words, compassion, and mercy, <laughs> giving them solar powered audio Bibles. Uh, I saw the church in action. I saw the church living how it was supposed to live. So Sunday morning, we came back into America on a red eye flight, um, stepped foot into our country. Very first thing that greeted us that welcomed me home is the news of what happened in Orlando and the shooting that happened while we were traveling. I was grieved in my very everything about me. I was just sad and broken deep broken deeply moved um, thinking about these families and the parents um, moms and dads that had to hear this awful thing and just kind of found myself questioning why you know how why do people do this um, i was just weeping and i was thinking if i'm broken this much about this how how broken is god the god who made all these people how is how broken is his heart right now and he sees this he created people to love and be free to be themselves. And this is how, what happens sometimes with sin. He created people to do as they please and they choose to murder each other and hurt instead of loving each other. Sadly, this isn't something that surprises me about our world today. I, the world is broken because of sin. I, if somebody was asking what's wrong with the world, I would say, well, let's start with me. I'm sinful, selfish, and too often I'm not compassionate or caring about other people. Uh, too often I judge people based on their appearance and their what they're wearing, how they're acting, and the decisions they've made. Now, I understand the sin of people and that leading to bad things happening to others. It doesn't surprise me. As a 33-year-old guy, um, I've seen plenty. What surprises me is you know, Christians and their reaction to what happened in Orlando. Um, I've seen church people in our country saying things about God's judgment on homosexuality because of this Orlando shooting. I've seen pastors in America talk about God's wrath, um, his righteousness, as if this maniac murderer was somehow like a messenger from God, like doing his will against gay people. <laughs> and I'm not saying sex outside of God's plan of a man and woman marriage isn't sin. I, I know it is. I, I have struggled in my life, um, with porn with, uh, lust, with just looking at other people, judging people. Um, like, I, I get it. I get the sexual temptations that are out there. I, I know that God's designed what it is for sex for us. And I think 
that homosexuality is outside of it. Um, but so are my own sexual trespasses in the past that they're equally outside of it. And so I just want to distance myself from that whole <laughs> God hates fags culture, you know, the Westboro Baptist Christians, whatever you call yourselves. I say, this is not Jesus. This is not God's justice when something like this happens to people. I'm so tired of listening to people around our country, even pastors, quote the Bible like they know what they're talking about. Does anyone even read the Bible anymore? Like, do Christians even study it anymore? Uh, it's like everybody has like Google, and so you get on your Google to find verses that you like or that, that agree with your stance on something. The Christians even understand the gospel anymore that while well, you were a sinner, Christ died for you. Has that hit your heart, your own sin, your own hidden crap that you've been hiding behind your, you know, your facade? Like, has that has the gospel hit you recently? The real church, the one with the living, breathing Holy Spirit inside it, and Christ is the head of it, can do better than this. The church is not about condoning sin or looking the other way. It teaches unashamedly about sin. It teaches unashamedly about hope. It shows kindness and compassion through actions. The church is to be patient and kind and not envious of others, not boastful, but humble. The church is to honor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs. The living, breathing, Holy Spirit filled church the body of christ doesn't delight in evil but it rejoices with the truth we protect we we trust we always hope we always persevere and if you don't have love you're nothing we as a church if we don't have love we are nothing in the last week i mean i've seen it i've seen it all i've seen the humble servant Jesus love and I've seen the Pharisee like judgment. I've seen the whole spectrum. I want to speak on this topic for my fusion next gen students. Listen, this these are difficult days to navigate through with faith, the Bible, Christian, you know, ideas in our culture. And you students are our future. I hope you are always finding that balance of knowledge and grace in a broken world. Love you guys.